attempting to resolve. See, now we're not going to say it's not. It is. We're not going to say that it's imminent. It is not imminent. Attempting to resolve. Highly potential negative equations. So from your point A, you have avenues B, C, D, and E. Ahead of you, long time on a scale that branches out just like that. Interesting. Okay. Now you have on your map when planning uh, your future, you can put your variables and what is needed to, uh, to achieve them. So your landmarks, your stepping stones, and then you have to figure out the paths in between that, how to get from this one to this one and jump until you reach your goals. But when you see something ahead that is large and difficult to avoid you got to uh, it's um, it's an energy bubble it's a, it's a it is a potential anomaly. But see, the thing is, it's not that it's not that unusual. It's just the magnitude of it. Um, it's possible that it is a string of things but you have to figure out what that could be um, if you're gonna if you cannot avoid it if you have to go through it Then you look for the most positive route. And oh, so yeah, otherwise, other otherwise, avoid entirely. Now, the way to avoid these big bubbles, these, um, they're almost, they're almost energy knots. It's because so many things converge. Let's say, ooh, okay. Um, it is a potential convergence. Much better than anomaly. Potential convergence. 
All right, so potential convergence is the energy of an event to come. Uh, the event may be multiple events in, in, for multiple people. Uh, perception of a forthcoming event is often misunderstood. Since uh, information is compressed and or scattered, it may show up as the law of averages. I just wanted to use that, the law of averages, because I was thinking about it today. I think last night. It's very important, the law of averages. Which I still need to look up. And I need to look it up because I believe it has something to do with balance, maybe some... Um, ratios for balance, things like the golden ratio, that spiral, and other such things. Because there's an efficient, highly efficient way. And it's a real positive because of the fluidity at which things move, the energy is not interrupted.